Okay, so the second coat here and here have dried enough that I feel I can go ahead and put another coat here. So we're gonna go ahead and build this out. It's getting so late in the day, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do a second coat here, but uh, if I'm not able to get to that today, then we'll certainly catch that in the next, next video. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and show you, you know, that waiting until this portion is dry and then applying your coat here just has a, a much better outcome. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit. There are a couple of, you know, peaks here, the runs of line. We'll be able to clean that up with uh, the multiple coat, so you don't need to worry about that too much. But it's a nice smooth coat. We'll be able to work it in as we go. And so next, let's go ahead and tape those couple of seams on the ceiling. Okay, so what I've got here is a crack in this seam right here. I don't think it'll be very visible on camera there, but I've just got a separation from where the tape used to hold this seam together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a little bit of tape that's going to extend slightly beyond it, and I'll modify the tape to come around this corner. I'm going to run the tape along here, and then I'll work out all of the mud to smooth it all out, make it a nice smooth transition. But by taping it instead of just mudding it, I'll have that tape to kind of make a, a more solid cover. Because if I just put some mud over it, then eventually that crack will show up in that seam again. But by putting the tape, I've got a nice solid surface uh, that'll keep it from showing up and, and being apparent in the future. Okay, so the length of that is pretty good. 
just going to cut it a little bit so that the tape will actually sit center on that crack, but then the tape will slightly extend past the crack.
go ahead and let that dry, come back, hit up that seam, and those will be done. Now, one thing I just want to point out real quick. When I'm first attaching the tape, I'm putting maybe an eighth of an inch of mud. I'm putting the tape down, and I'm putting just enough pressure to squeeze out any excess. I don't want to squeeze out every bit of mud, but get a nice firm attachment of the tape to the mud and to the drywall. And then I come back over that after I've got it all smoothed out, just the way I want. And I put a thin layer of mud over top of it. And then I come back and I remove all of the excess, kind of fading it away at each side so that you can still see the tape. But there's just a light film of tape over, or mud over the tape, and then it's tapered away. And then we'll come back over this after we've got the other piece of tape on. And then just like in the corner, we'll do our layers of mud and have a gradual work away in layers from the tape so that you can't really see where the seams were. It just becomes a nice taper and your eyes can't pick up the differentiation in layers. All right, next, I'm gonna go ahead and fix a seam right here in the corner. Okay, so I've got two areas right here that are coming apart. I've got a seam right here that has separated. So I'm gonna run a piece of tape down along here. And I've got a seam right here that is separated. It's running right along here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape both of these.
since these two cracks are actually so close together, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wait until this one dries, and then I'll work on this crack, just because I don't wanna mess up the mud that I just did on this seam right here. So instead of doing this crack right now, why don't we go ahead and wrap up the film. I'm gonna go around and touch up all the areas that I pounded in, uh, the nails and then put in the screws. So we'll go ahead and clean those up, put another uh, skin coat uh, mud on top of those, and then we'll just call it a day today and uh, we'll go ahead and wrap up this film. And the next film I'll come back and we'll just continue. Continue putting on layers of mud, fanning everything out, putting on the second pieces of tape, and just continuing around this room until everything is in a condition that, that uh, we're ready for paint. And I think that right now is probably a good time to discuss it, to point it out that doing all of this work and taking your time and doing it in layers is so much better than just piling on a bunch of mud and then having to spend hours sanding it down. This is a, a slower pace by taking our time and putting on thin coats but the finished product is going to be so much nicer. It's worth the investment in my opinion. To just take the time and, and to, to do it in layers and do a little bit of sanding instead of putting a thick coat all at once, just getting it all done and doing a heavy amount of sanding. So that's just my two cents, but however you work out your DIY projects and however you come to the completion of your jobs, as long as you're satisfied, you know, that's all that really matters. All right, so let's go ahead. I'll uh, just put together a quick uh, clip of cleaning up all of these, these nail holes, putting on the second coat of mud, and we'll bring the film to an end. All right. Okay, so with all of these nail holes, we already put over a thin coat of mud. So all I'm gonna do is just take my four inch putty knife, just come over all of them real quick, make sure there's no peaks, and then I'm just gonna come over with another thin coat of mud over top of them, and then we'll call it a day. Okay, so I think we'll call it a day at that. We got uh, a little bit of mudding done, we added some more tape to the seams, and we touched up all the indentations of the walls uh, where we had hammered in the nails. So we're getting a little bit closer, but we still have some more mudding to do before we really get to the point that we can start applying paint and move on to the next steps. But I think that it's, you know, it's really good to see this. It's good to see that other DIYers uh, who are just like you have to really take their time. We don't always have, you know, weeks or months to take off work and dedicate to a job. It's a slow process that we, we do over time. You know, this room now, uh, it's already been actually a couple weeks. It's a few videos, but I only get to work on this on the weekends. So, you know, it, it's, it's a slow process, but it, you know, it, it'll get done. It's, it's just going to take time. But, you know, the, the sense of satisfaction that you get from doing your own work and the, the amount of savings that you get from doing your own work is, you know, it's, it's just awesome. 
But uh, if you did enjoy this video, I hope that you'll come back. Please like and subscribe because the more likes and subscriptions that I get, the more these videos will be prioritized by YouTube so that other people will be able to see them. Um, I hope that you come back for the next one. And again, thank you.